Big weekend for the Holy Cross hockey team, taking on Mercyhurst Friday and Saturday night. Both teams coming in tied for second place in Atlantic Hockey and Holy Cross, welcoming back that 2005-2006 team that upset Minnesota in the first round of the NCAA playoffs. So you know this team wants to play well in front of the alums. Kasten Sommer, the former standout at Shrewsbury High School, leading the Satyrs tonight. First period scoreless game. Satyrs jamming in front, jamming at home. Holy Cross celebrating the goal. But hold on, after video review, no goal. So we are still scoreless. Holy Cross with a one-timer from Jack Bolton. Good save, good traffic in front. Then Tim Driscoll, sick wrister from the top of the slot. Finds the back of the net, it is one nothing Holy Cross. Mike Laffin, wrapping it around. Feeds Scott Pooley for the one-timer to goal, and the Satyrs jumping in front, two nothing just like that. Mercyhurst on the power play, the shot call, Verifato the save, rebound. Barafato the save again, covers up, and we got some jamming in front. Holy Cross on the power play, laughing, setting up Mike Barrett. Barrett, one-timer. He scores to make it 3 nothing. Holy Cross. Satyrs hold on. They win 5-4, your final. Tomorrow there will be a formal ceremony for that 05-06 team. The Northbridge senior class back for their third straight Super Bowl. This has a different feel, though because it's the last time they'll play together representing their school. You know, we've been with each other for the past few years. You know, we've been beaten down a couple years here, and uh, you know, it's really special to us that uh, we try to end on a great note. It's, uh, it's crazy, the time flies. I remember sophomore game sophomore year that I remember perfectly, but um, we just gotta enjoy the game, um, do our job, play well, and hopefully get it done. You know, we gotta end strong this year. I mean, the last two years, we've, we've known when our last games are, and um, I mean, knowing that this is our last game this year, we definitely wanna end on a high note. All right, they certainly do wanna end on a high note and end their senior season and their high school career with a state Super Bowl championship, Northbridge taking on East Bridgewater tomorrow at 9 a.m. And of course, we're gonna wrap it all up on the frenzy tomorrow night, 10.30 p.m. We will have highlights, post-game reaction from that Northbridge East Bridgewater game and highlights from the St. Bernard's game and the Neshoba game as well. Worcester boxers, Jermaine Ortiz and Irvin Gonzalez leave tomorrow for Reno, Nevada and the Olympic trials. The two fighters will have to fight almost every day for a week to win their weight class and qualify for the Olympics. It's a tough schedule. Keys to winning in um, here and you go in every day with the same mentality. Don't let the other guy back you down. You have to be, you have to be the aggressor in these type of fights and you have, to, you have to go out there and show them that you want it more than they, they, than they do. It's, it's your dream on the line and it comes down to who wants it more. Mentally, I just rest. Rest, rest. Um, I stay with Carlos. Carlos is always calm, and he always t he's always teaching. You know, he's always t giving me knowledge out every every time of the day. So I talk to God, open the book. You know, be calm, real relax. I don't worry about nothing. I try not to stress nothing, and I just listen to my coaches and do what they tell me. All right, great coaches and great young men as well. Jermaine Ortiz and Irving Gonzalez. It is a double elimination format. And the fights will begin on Monday. These two are used to this kind of format. They're used to that kind of schedule as well because they had to fight in, uh, in all the qualifiers leading up. And they've been doing this for years. I mean, they've been two of the top fighters in their weight class in the country for a long time. So they're used to the schedule, but they know this is their time. You don't get, you know, the next Olympics is not for four more years. So this is it for them. That's true. This time, I mean, the matchup that they're going on is can be pretty tough. Yeah, it can be tough, but again, they know what they're doing. They know they're ready mentally and physically to fight every single day and to go through the grind. And they both have great coaches with Irvin Gonzalez Sr., with Carlos Garcia. Uh, Rocky Gonzalez has helped out as well to get these guys ready. So their coaching's been great. They train really hard. Both guys are so dedicated, and you have to be. And that's the foundation is your physical fitness. They have that. They're ready to go. All right, Kevin Shea, busy weekend for you too with the yes. football. Thank you very much. That'll do it for us here tonight for Kevin Shea, Andy Madison. We leave you now with more sound from the Boston Pops and their performance earlier tonight here in Worcester. Have a great weekend, everyone.